Spoonflower is a website that allows people to create and print their own fabric, wallpaper, and gift wrap. Independent artists can also choose to make their designs available for sale to other people and uh, earn money when people buy those designs. The Spoonflower was actually uh, my wife's idea. Back in 2007, uh, when this idea first came about, I didn't know the first thing about sewing or fabric or printing for, the, for that matter. She said to me one night, you know what I would, would be really cool is if there was a, uh, a place that would allow me to design my own fabric. Spoonflower started in an old sock mill in Mebane, North Carolina. It was just my business partner, Garth Davis, and I. We had, at the beginning, one digital textile printer that we had pooled our money to buy. Now, today, Spoonflower occupies three offices in Durham, North Carolina, with a new office that opened recently in Berlin, Germany. We are approaching having 200 employees. What we're most excited about now is expanding Spoonflower into international markets, having a website that supports many languages. In addition to international expansion, we're also really excited about rolling out new products and services that we're calling Spoon Labs. The first one is already launched. It's called Sprout Patterns, and it's a completely new way to look at sewing customized garments and apparel. We benefit from having this very strong community of customers. That community consists both of designers, artists, people who, who make and sell things on Spoonflower, but also people who just love design and love fabric and love sewing. Because we print things one at a time and there's no minimum, there's an opportunity for entrepreneurs and artists to try out new ideas without much risk. Empowering artists to sell their stuff is an idea that you know exists across the internet. There are lots of sites that allow people to kind of put their creativity to work for themselves. You know, Spoonflower kind of joined that community of companies, which is another thing that um, we're very proud of.